this question we have given the manufacturer has distribution center at XYZ and these centers are availability of 40, 20 and 40 units. So this quantity is 40. Correct. Now determine the optimum. We will prepare first solution by van and then go by regular method. Is this problem is a balanced transportation problem? So check the sum. This one is 100 and this one is also 100 transportation. So no extra dummy column or row is added. So we will prepare the basic solution by penalty method. So what is the minimum cost in the first row is 30. What is the next cost 40. So this one is 10. In this one the lowest cost is 30. Next immediate cost is 35. So this one is 5. This one is 40, 60, 30, 35 and 30. 30 and 35. So this one is 5 in column. 35 and 40. So this one is 5. 30 and 30. 0. 40 and 95. 55. 45, 35, 10. This one is 20. 30 and 50 is 20. Maximum penalty is in this column and the minimum cost in this one is 40 so out of 40 and this 20 20 can be allocated so this 20 is cancelled out we will have paid 20 the column capacity of 2 is exhausted 30 and next immediate number is 50 so this one is 20 this is 30 and 35 so that equals to 5 it's 40 35 30 35 and 30 5. No change in column, copy down directly. 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 Now, the maximum is this 20. In this 20, the minimum cost is 30. And in this 20, the minimum cost is also 30. So, there is a tire. So, you have to break up the tire arbitrarily. So, we will go by this equal to 20. And our requirement is 10. So, we can fulfill 10. So we left with 10. It means that this column is strike out. Let's start now again. Now this time 55, 50 and 50. 50 and 50, 0. 35, 45 and 60. So 35 and 45 is 10. 40, 35, 30. 30 and 35, 5. This side. 55 and 40. This is not cancelled, so this is common. There is no entry in this one, there is no entry in this one, there is no change here, 10. There is no change here also, 20. So 20 is supposed to be the maximum penalty. In this one, the lowest cost is 30. So we can allocate 15. We left with 25. Because of this one, the column number E is also cancelled. Now you left with only column A and column D. 55, 50. 5, 45, 10, 40, 35, 5, no change, 5, and no change is 10. So we have a tie here, 10, 10. So let's go by this 10 first. Low, lower cost is how much? 35 or 45. And if I go by this one, it is also 35. So that is also another tie. So you can break the tie arbitrarily. So break this tie here, this is 10. We have a 25, we have 20 here, so we can allocate 20, so we left with 5. Because of this one, we have to strike off the column, row number, row Y. Now, I think we are left with only few cells. Any penalty is possible here or not possible? This penalty is possible. So, or one more time. There is no entry here also. So, what is the penalty in the first row? 55 and 50 is 5. Now, this is cancel out. This one is 40 and 35 is 5. In this one, there is a 55 and 40 is 15. No required, not required. This required is 55 and 35 is 15. So, there is a tie at 15 and tie at 15. Now, if you see this 15, we have two cost is 40 and 55. And if you see this one, we have a cost of 35. So better select 35. How much we can allocate to this? Can we allocate full 25? So 
we can allocate 25 so we can allocate 25 so this is cancel out and we left with 5 but because of this one this row is strike off now there is no need of penalty so just check this number is 10 and this you have to allocate now this is exhausted or left is 5 now we are left with this cell that is 50 5 and this one is 50 so can we allocate 10 here or we can allocate 5 at the most we can allocate 5 so this 5 is cancelled and we left with another 5 but because of this one is column D is also cancelled no more entry now column D now we left with 5 so we have to give this 5 is column 1 is exhausted so by this method cost come out to be 3650 m equal to number of rows n equal to number of column 5 so m plus n minus 1 7 check occupancy cell 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is ready for initial let assign v1 equal to 0 now we'll go for only occupied cell for occupied cell we have c so first occupied cell is this cost is 55 this one is 0 so this number must equal to 55 55 plus 0 is 55 this is occupied cell this is 35 this number is 0 so 0 plus this is 35 next go for this occupied cell this number is 30 whereas this number is 55 so this number is minus 25 no occupancy here we will go for next occupancy this one is 40 this one is 55 so this one is minus 50 next occupancy this one is 50 this one is 55 minus 5 next is this occupancy 35 minus 5 40 this occupancy is 30 occupied cell 30 40 so this one is minus 10 okay let's start with this one this one is delta 3 1 delta 3 is 40 corresponding row value is 40 corresponding this value is 0 so this is 0 this one is next number this one is 2 2 cost is 30 corresponding row value is 35 corresponding column volume is minus minus this one is 35 minus 25 this is 10 so this one is 20 next is this number this is delta 3 3 the cost is single row value 40 plus plus in minus 25 this value is delta 3 2 which is 60 40 minus 25 this one is 15 45 Okay, next this one. This one is two, three, hundred. So this one is thirty-five. Spawning row value minus fifty is eighty. Next is this value. That is this one is three three. This one is ninety-five minus forty minus fifty seventy. This value two four five minus 35 35 minus 5 30 15 delta 1 5 is 50 50 minus corresponding value 55 minus 10 is 45 is plus 5 delta 2 5 60 60 minus 35 minus 10 25 35 all delta ij are positive so this itself is an optimum solution and therefore this cost itself equals to what optimal cost